Peace and love, everybody. We are outside today. It's so beautiful. So many moving pieces. As y'all seen, I have changed my name. So let's get into it like let's get straight into it because i have not did a dream video in a while and as you all know neptune is still in retrograde neptune is the planet of dreams right so anything that's going on in the spiritual realm is going to show up in your dream world so the last two dreams we're going to get very in depth with it because the symbolism the messages and the visions have been there in the waking world i was just ignoring them <laughs> Because sometimes spirit be loud, okay? The first dream that I really want to talk about and get into is when I was in some apartment. And when you are in certain settings, pay attention to the fact that do you know where you are? If you don't already, being in an unrecognizable place, it's like spiritually, I felt as if I was in this place where I didn't know where I was at. You know, along our journey, we are going to go into these pits of darkness. Sometimes you will go to the dark night of the soul more than once because I've been through this shit in 2020. Like, I really felt like, you know, I've addressed these shadows, but that's where spirit is like, hold on, wait a second. No, you haven't. See, we're always healing, never heal, but I digress. So in this dream, I did not know where I was. I did not know who was around me. I did not recognize any of the faces. All I knew was energy. There was only energy there. A lot of the people didn't even have a face. So for me, it's like I was in a dark apartment. I didn't know where I was, unrecognizable settings. I needed to be somewhere where I felt recognized. So so what does that mean? In my waking world, as you all know, I've been going by the name Vani. A lot of people don't know that Vani is actually a nickname. Vani was a part of my middle name. I have two middle names. If you know, you know. If you've been here for a minute, if you know me in the real world, then you know my real name. But for a long time, I was running away from my real name. And this is where Spirit was still showing me like shadow parts of myself because it's like, why don't you like the name your mama birthed you with? You feel what I'm saying? So for me, I definitely wanted to get more in depth with this. And since I was writing out the dream, I didn't really know at the time, but I just knew I felt unsecure. So remember how I always say, pay attention to how you're feeling. Pay attention to how other people can be feeling in the dream. I knew that this energy was a male. It was like almost like a male energy. I didn't really know who it was. Like I said, I couldn't see any of the faces. All I knew was I was in like some kind of apartment complex. People were dancing. Things were happening around me. I could tell. I could hear the music. But I just did not feel comfortable. I just did not feel like I belonged there. Fast forward to my next dream because this dream was very small. But fast forward to my next dream. This next dream, I am quite literally in some neighborhood. I don't know where the fuck this neighborhood is. It looked like one of those homeowner association neighborhoods, if I can kind of explain it better. Um, so the houses all kind of look the same. It was a well put together neighborhood. I'm getting out of the car and I'm literally walking to the house. I don't know this house. Again, an unrecognizable place. It's dark. It's at nighttime. I did, however, see street lights. So I remember through these street lights, there were two girls that were walking. Do I know who they are? No. Unrecognizable people. But they literally came to attack me. The only thing that I had to protect myself for some odd reason was a fork. At the time when I wrote this dream down, I didn't really know why Spirit had me fighting them with a fork. But kind of going deeper into the dream, thinking about it from a symbolic aspect, when you think of Huru especially, a fork is very symbolic of the crossroads. Right, so as we all know, crossroads and hoodoo is really where you're you're kind of trapped within the spiritual and the flesh, right? A lot of times within this journey, we are struggling. There's depression, there's anxiety, complicating things, right? And this is where we are essentially in a crossroad. So a crossroad being, you know, there could be some challenge, there could be some type of obstacle that we are challenged with and for me me symbolically having the fork and then not only just having the fork but 
defending myself with the fork and going as far as actually stabbing them, it's almost as if I'm taking a stab at things and going into this right direction. Because too, when you think of a fork in the road, right, you gotta pick which direction to go into. So, you know, I ended up stabbing them. I'm fighting them, trying to get away as best as I can. And I literally get to this house, this unrecognizable house that I don't know. I remember it being a white house, though. I get in and my husband is there and I'm telling him what happened. I'm out of breath. He's trying to catch up. He's trying to remember. And he's also trying to close the door because I'm like you need to close the door you need to close the door I don't want them in here so then I woke up so already right then and there I felt like I needed to go into this new direction I felt like I was being called into my real name like bitch you're in unrecognizable places in the spiritual realm because of the fact that you're calling yourself a name that spirit never meant for you to go by. Like, Vani was a interesting era, and I kind of talked about this on my Instagram, but I do want to talk about it on YouTube as well. Vani was a very interesting era. I've learned a lot of things, but for such a long time, I just never liked my name. Like, and it's crazy because my husband used to ask me all the time, why don't you go by Bianca? What's so wrong with Bianca? And it's not that it's something wrong with it. I just never liked it. You know, it's just one of those things. And, you know, seeing the shadow work and seeing what can come out of you not going by your real name. It's like for me now, I want to be called the name that I was birthed with, Bianca. You know, that name is a very powerful name. It means white. When you think of Bianca in Spanish, right? Bianca Blanca is white pure purity pure ones i am deciding to go by that so you may see it interchangeably like blanca or bianca i go by both it all means white so and i think that now that i'm going through that i feel like maybe when i knew that it was white i was like bitch i'm not white but i was thinking of white as far as like your skin tone when i you know when you younger and shit you just don't be all deep like you need to be but now putting two and two together being more in my spiritual journey, being grounded more in my spiritual practices, my dreams and everything. It's like spirit was like, baby, you gotta go by your name, the name that your mama have given you. So, Bianca. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's crazy that my dreams had to, you know, relay those messages. And now, guys, now that I've cleansed my house, now that I've changed my name and had this huge ass energetic shift, I'm not having any weird dark dreams. Of course, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Y'all know I love this series. This series, especially now that Neptune is in retrograde more than ever, pay attention to your dreams. If you do not have a dream journal by now, Go ahead and get you a dream journal, even if you're just writing down things you remember, how you felt, where were you, was it dark? Oh, I didn't even tell y'all about, I didn't even tell y'all about the other dream. I had a whole nother dream where I was literally in this military base. Y'all know I used to be in the military, so sometimes I do have military dreams for some odd reason still, but I was in this big ass military base and we were kind of walking around. It was late at night. All of these dreams lately have been at nighttime, so that already lets me know darkness. Um, and we were kind of closing up shop, closing up the garage that we were working in, and we started seeing these big ass planes coming over the base. And I'm like, did y'all know about any planes coming in? Woo -de -woo. And I'm literally making a call and some fucking bombs start dropping bombs and bullets. And it's, it's like a lot of chaos. People were running, trying to get into the garage. I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Like, all I knew is to close down and literally secure. And when we think of closing down spiritually and securing, you know, our parameters, that in a sense is going to the internal kingdom. So for a long time, like I said, even with me leaving and doing the things that I felt called to do I felt called to be in a place of solitude securing my boundaries right and last time I checked I believe Saturn is still in retrograde yes Saturn is in retrograde in Pisces so when we think of Saturn that's our boundaries our authoritative skills right so spirit have been showing me baby you need to set the boundaries right because 
you know, all these things happening, spirit taking me back to this darkness, even within the spiritual realm, within my dream world, I started to realize ways I need to redefine self, ways I need to redefine who I am. Because like I said, you will be in those unrecognizable positions. You will be in those unrecognizable places. I didn't want to be there anymore. So spirit, you know, told me you need to be in your full divinity. That means being in your name, Bianca, purity, right? So I even got the shit tattooed on my head. I don't think a lot of y'all knew that. I got this a lotus flower tattoo because, you know, more than ever, purity, fertility was just coming to me a lot. A lot of dreams, a lot of visions. Even with me changing these hidden gems to bees hidden gems, right? Because when we think of a bee, it's a very high vibrational animal. And more than ever, like, spirit has been sending them to me. All in my backyard, when I'm sitting down, when I'm walking somewhere, bees just everywhere. Buzzing by me, landing near me, landing on me. So it's so many different ways where spirit has been loud with this last move. I'm super excited. I'm not going to make this video too long. Y'all know me. I know more people have been saying longer videos, longer videos. So this one should be a right around 12, 13 minutes. <laughs> I just don't think people want to see 30 minute videos anymore. I don't know. Y'all tell me though. Um, but thank you so much for watching guys. So many great things happening. If you haven't already, definitely check out Bees Hidden Gems. That is B, Big Bees, Bees Hidden Gems, right? Because we have rebranded, changing a lot of our branding, our logos. So check it out if you haven't already. I also did a new blog on how sensual energy heals the womb space. So many good things coming, guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss on any of my next videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace and love.